Hi everyone! Today we are making a video to show you how to get more comfortable with buy me a coffee. So, uh, I wore my little corgi rump earrings for the occasion. And let's go ahead and get started. On this video today, we will learn how to log in to buy me a coffee, how to leave someone a tip, the difference between a member and a non-member, and how to find the tours and recaps and recordings that I individually have posted in my shop. Let's get started. I'm going to be using my profile links just to show you what it looks like exactly and step by step for when you sign up for my tours or other folks' tours that have these same types of steps. So either it's buy me a coffee, either through Eventbrite or through Zoom as well. Let's get more comfortable with them. So if you have typed this in to your browser, feel free to follow along if you'd like. Then you will come up with this page. You can see it says explore with Kelsey. Kelsey is a tour guide, an opera singer, and this is how many people have come to all of the tours or have signed up to all of the tours. And this is the home page. Some of you may end up with the membership home page, depending on which link you click on. In case you are a member, make sure you're logged in so that you get the member price. So you click up in the upper right hand corner with the little lines and the person figure, and it will say, start a page or log in and this is also something to, che to check as soon as you go to buy me a coffee so that you don't purchase something while you're not signed in that is something that buy me a coffee allows for which can be a little confusing so do check if you're not signed in it'll say login so you do want to click login if it doesn't say login that's how you know you are logged in confusing enough <laughs> Okay, so we'll click login and that'll take us to a page that looks like this. Sign up. I prefer to do it with an email here. So you enter your email and your password and it'll say continue with email and then you enter your information. When creating a public profile, you will for when you are entering your payment information, do enter your your real details for that. But for this public profile, and you don't have to enter your full last name, you don't have to enter your address or anything that could give your identity away, but just please do enter a name so that I know what to call you <laughs> in the tours. Um, that'll be on your zoom as well in terms of leaving people a tip so you can go to their profile which you see their picture and their name so mine says explore with kelsey and here you can see it says home membership shop but if you keep scrolling you'll see membership and support membership and support so the membership is if you want to join a monthly charge which will then get you discounts or some other type of advantage and support is where you can actually buy someone a coffee this is what the site was initially for so if you buy one coffee keep in mind it's not one dollar euro pound it is the the price that it says down in the blue button that says support so one coffee is three three coffees is nine and five coffees is 15. You can also add two coffees, but you cannot add 0 0.5 coffees. It will not let you put the point, and so it will register as five coffees. <laughs> so we'll say one coffee, you then put your name or your email, and you can say something like, hey, love your tours, or hey, you forgot to mention me, something exciting. And you pay with your email, which will then take you to a Stripe browser which is very secure, and that will then take you to a different link for payment. And that is how you tip someone with Buy Me A Coffee. In order to find my tours on Buy Me A Coffee, follow these instructions. So now we are back on the main profile page and we have clicked on the shop to check out our different tours. So the shop is where I have all of my tours. You can see Hallstatt, Guadon, Cinco de Mayo. These are all in order of when they are happening. All of these are on the calendar already. 
So in case you see a tour, for example, the lavender fields in Provence, in case you see that and you click on it on the calendar, it will take you to this link. Also, just to show you, it says only 84 left. Due to Zoom regulations, I can only have 100 tickets for these tours. So this is also why I ask you, please don't share the links that, that come in the receipt for your purchase because Zoom will only allow in 100 participants. And as you've seen, some of my tours get up to 500 and 600 people. So I am trying to, to make sure that everyone can come with either the live recap, live tour, live concert, or then recordings of those events. And I actually just put up the recording of the Fias Festival today. And you can find them by scrolling all the way down in the shop for the recorded tours, recaps, and concerts. I remember seeing many of you come to the Fias Festival, which was so much fun. Here, I'll click on it just to show you what the what it looks like here. Here's the picture. I scroll down a little bit. You can see now it's three pounds, but if you become a member, you can get it for two pounds. This is the gorgeous recording of the Fias Festival in Spain. So this is a watch at your leisure recording. No part of this is live. So unlike the recaps, which are uh, recorded video and live commentary, no part of these recordings are live. All of these are, are um, private links. So in the receipt, as it says down here, link for the Fias Festival recording is in the confirmation message after payment. See you there, Kelsey. So when you get a, a confirmation, a receipt from Buy Me A Coffee after you make the purchase, in that message, it will have the link to the private recording. Here I also included the Facebook group, my actual YouTube channel, and please subscribe after you watch or before you watch or anytime you want to be on my channel because once we get 1,000 subscribers, we can do more of a regular live streaming event. Also here is my PayPal. So again, this is the recording. I'm gonna click out of this. And you can see the Spring Concert of Love recording is also available here. But here is the test event. So if you click on the picture or the text of the tour you want to see, it says, get this test event. So you can see it says April 22nd. Here is Eastern time, Pacific time, UK time, and Central European time, which is where I am. And it says gorgeous virtual recap, which are recorded videos with live commentary. So that's where we are watching a video that I have taken previously, sometimes in places that you are not allowed to have live tours, or sometimes during big events like the Fias Festival, that takes place over 19 days. You have to gather footage from different parts of the festival to really understand and get a full picture of what happens. So then you will see Discover Test Tour or Discover Hallstatt with your host, Kelsey. And the Zoom link and Eventbrite reminder link optional included in receipt after payment. See you soon, Kelsey. So let's go ahead and get this. We click on that. For this one, I've marked it as zero pounds because it's a test tour. But the real recaps, concerts, tours do have an entrance fee. So once you have entered your email address and your payment information, then it'll say processing payment. Thank you for your purchase. Then you can see all of the, the fireworks that go off. I think these are so funny. And then this is the message you received, you've received after you've made the purchase, after you've completed the registration. So you also get this as an email, but I'll just show you here. It says test tour. So thank you for your purchase to the test tour. And then here is the Eventbrite link. This is an optional link. You don't need to use this. We will talk about Eventbrite in a separate video, but for now, let's focus on just entering my tours through Zoom. So let's skip over the Eventbrite link for now and head right down to the Zoom link to the tour. The actual Zoom link is right here. It's this one. It says, if you wish to skip Eventbrite, no timed reminder emails, this is the direct Zoom link 
to the tour. So when we click on this, it'll take us right to the Zoom meeting. I'll show you what this looks like in your email as well. It'll say from buy me a coffee. Thank you for claiming whatever event you've purchased. And then it says test tour, so it'll give you the name of the tour again. It's the same message we saw before, so it'll have the, the thank you, the time, the date. There's the Eventbrite link. Let's skip that for now. And here is the main Zoom link to the tour. So if you are registering right before the event and you want to go right to it, you can just click the Zoom link. And again, it says these are your personal links. Please don't share them. And here's my email address in case anything ever goes wrong with payment or with your uh, your computer or um, internet or just if, in case something goes wrong, please send me an email. And these policies go for my tours, but I'm sure other guides have other policies in place. So in case something goes wrong with a different guides tour, please be sure to check with that guide individually. So let's click on this Zoom link here. This will take you directly to the Zoom tour. And that brings us to the end. In this video, you learned how to access the Buy Me A Coffee tours, as well as get a little more comfortable with the Buy Me A Coffee platform. In the next videos, we will talk about Zoom and Eventbrite. So as all the YouTube stars say, stay tuned. See you soon.